It's on. Okay, uh, in order to uh, do this ear wrapping, first thing you want to do is you want to determine the length of the ear, uh, how, how uh, much backer rod you want to use. So the first thing you want to do is have the puppy sit here, stick this in the ear to the very bottom, you'll feel it, stretch the ear, and then use your finger to place your uh, place the back rod. So I'm going to go a little bit more than that. So right about here is the length of the ear to the bottom to the tip. You always want to give a little extra room. So where my thumb is, I'm cutting this to make it more precise. And then because I just did this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the same thing on this other piece. Since they both ears are pretty much the same length as they should be. So now I've got the proper length for both ears. So the next step is after you uh, after you do that is you, you want to wrap the back of the rod with the duct tape that's stuck here on the uh, table. Go ahead and pause it. Okay, the next step is to uh, wrap this back of the rod because it is flimsy and it's foam. You want to wrap it with duct tape to make it a little bit more uh, sturdy and tough while it's in the ear. But before I do that, I want to uh, actually make this a little bit smaller because part of this is going to go in the puppy's ear. So I'm actually going to just shave off a little bit of this uh, backer rod so it can spin in the ear a little bit better. And you want to do that for both, uh, for both uh, backer rods. Okay. The next step is, once you have it uh, kind of chiseled to the, to the tip, is we want to secure it with duct tape so we can make it tougher. So what you want to do is start right here at the edge. You want to place your thumb, line it up, and smoothly have this go over the back of the rod. And you do not want any creases whatsoever same time you want to make this stretch and straight so therefore uh, it's going to allow the ear to be straight. Next thing is you do it again. You repeat the process. You get it right where the other one left off. And it's okay if there's an excess tape to, to go over it a few times. The whole point is is to allow this this backer rod to uh, stay strong and not flimsy. Okay, one more piece before I get to the chisel part. And as you can see, I've already made some pieces to, to kind of make it a little bit easier for me. So I place this right here. I go over it gently, making sure there's, there are no creases. And if you do make a mistake, like I, like I just did, you just go back over and redo it. You don't want to... You don't want to do it halfway. You want to make sure it's perfect. Okay, pause it. Okay, once you uh, get the uh, back of the rod the way you want it with duct tape, this, this piece right here that's chiseled, you're going to want to get some gauze because that way when you stuff it in the ear, any type of ear gunk, uh, the gauze is going to absorb the ear gunk. So what I'll do is I take a piece of gauze and you're going to make about this much, let's see here, this much per, uh, per backer rod. So this will be one. I'll do the same for this one here. So what, now what I want to do is I want to put the gauze over this tip right here. So I want to just fold it over like this, fold it over one more time. I'm going to stick this right here like this. Now it's not going to stay there so you got to tape it. So what I do is I get some elasticon tape like this right here and I'm going to actually cut this in half. This is an inch tape. I'm going to cut it to a half an inch. So it goes straight up the middle. 
And I'm going to make two pieces by doing this. Where one piece is going to be for one uh, back rod and the other piece will be for the other. So now that I've made the two pieces I want, I'm going to use it like this. I'm going to put this back over here like this. Now I'm going to use uh, this half inch Elasticon, stick part of it on the gauze and part of it on the duct tape and I'm going to go completely around it. So I'm going to twist this we're completely around it and I'm going to go back over where I started. So it should look like this. And you're going to do the same thing for the other one. You get your gauze, fold it, fold it. Place it right over here like this. Get your elastic on. Stick it right here. And rotate it with your fingers. Go back over the elastic on where you started. And both of them should be the same length. It should look similar uh, based on how you did it. Go ahead and pause it. Okay, so now once you have it like this, the next thing you want to do is you want to place the elastic on right where you started with the duct tape and you can go all the way around this to make a overlap it and push your thumb right here to stick it once it's stuck you're going to pull like this and you're going to reverse wrap so all of a sudden this is sticky side out so from there you're going to go back over and you're gonna start reverse wrapping and you wanna overlap the piece, each piece. So it kind of sticks together. This can be somewhat of a spiral. And it's real sticky. And if you need more, you're gonna pull a little bit more and continue to do the same thing all the way until you get get to the gauze. So you do this. Keep doing this. And you don't want to go over the gauze because that gauze is supposed to help you with the uh, any type of ear debris. Once it's completely covered with sticky side out tape, you're done. You want to cut this. So then what I do is get my scissors, cut it. You want to leave this somewhere so it cannot get any type of debris or anything on it because this is going to be in the ear. You don't want all this littered up with uh, hair and, and any other stuff. Once you do that, you want to repeat the process for this one right here. Pause it. 